Tables have turned, now I'm up all night. I'm picturing you acting like a fool. Hello, lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Maria from CMT Skincare, and I am back again with another amazing recipe. Mm -hmm. This recipe it is I'm gonna call it anti pimple soap. This recipe is going to clear those stubborn severe acne on your face those annoying pimples that keep popping up every time on your face this soap is going to clear it and it's going to lighten up the spots those people are going to live on your face okay so if you have severe acne you have acne prone skin and you want a good soap for your face this video is for you so before we go ahead making this video if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and Give this video a huge thumbs up as in just like this video before you even start watching it because i know you like it at the end <laughs> so guys the first thing we're going to be using is crusader soap as you can see i'm showing you guys crusader soap guys they are fake crusader soap and original crusader soap so you have to be very careful where you get your ingredients from because in this recipe if you're not using the good ingredients <laughs> it's won't work oh. so you have to get the original one okay this is a crusader soap I'm using and I am going to be grating it inside that container you are seeing. That's cup, that measuring cup. Okay. So guys, that's the original crusader soap. I have finished grating it and that is how it looks like. Guys, crusader soap is a medicated soap. So you are not supposed to use it for life. Hmm? You are going to use it just to treat what you are treating then you stop it because because i know some people when you start using it you start using it for life then your face start getting bones and something so you don't use all these treatments on your face forever it's just to treat those stuff then you stop it okay so that is the original crusader soap and another thing we are going to be using is camwood powder guys camwood powder is a very powerful antioxidant and also has anti-inflammatory agents that helps to improve blood circulation on the face so guys we're going to be using one tablespoon of camote powder i'm going to be adding it inside the grated crusader soap so guys the next powder we're going to be adding is camphor powder camphor powder is very very good on the skin and i'm going to be adding two pinch of camphor powder inside just like you're pinching a salt yes let me adding so pinch inside guys camphor is very very good to treat skin conditions okay because it contains antibacterial antifungi anti-inflammatory properties as well as that can wood so it's very very good on the skin okay so i'm going to be stirring everything together and i'm going to move into the next stage so the next thing i'm going to be adding inside is pimento pimento is very very good on the skin guys be careful of the fake pimentos they are fake outside there guys this is the original pimento this is how it looks like please don't go and get fake this is how it looks like now i don't know they might change the pack later but this is how it looks like i'm going to be adding one tablespoon of pimento inside the mixture I already added one tablespoon inside the mixture. If you want to lighten up, like you want this soap to really, really lighten you a lot, just add the full bottle inside, okay? But if you don't really want it to lighten you just a little bit, just use that one tablespoon. You can use the full bottle, you can use one tablespoon. They all works well. So the next I'm going to be adding is skin oil tubes. Skin oil is a very, very popular tube that people go to the pharmacy to buy whenever they have small reaction on their face okay so i'm going to be using a, the full tube inside this mixture guys i am making this this mixture just for this video just for this video guys i i make larger quantity but just for this video that is why i'm using making this small quantity because i know people that watch my youtube videos will want to do it by themselves not for sale so guys that is everything i've stirred everything up together and that is how it looks like and now i am going to melt this inside double boiler okay so if you want to know how i'm going to do this please follow me to the kitchen let's go and melt the soap guys my kitchen is dark please bear with me <laughs> so the double boiler method make sure that you have a water boiling already inside the bigger pot 
and that is the water if you look closely you see that the water is already boiling well so now i placed the measuring cup inside the the already boiled water we are going to leave it there for 20 minutes we're going to leave it there for 20 minutes guys so i want to really spread it well so that everything can touch the boiled water okay so let's wait for 20 minutes and we'll come back so guys this is exactly 20 minutes and this is how it looks like it's melted already so i'm going to be taking this out <clears throat> so I'm going to be taking this out of the hot water. So guys, my kitchen was very, very dark. This is how the melted soap looks like after 20 minutes. Guys, I'm going to be adding the final recipe, which is the tea tree oil. I'm going to be adding a few drops of tea tree oil inside the recipe. And I'm going to be stirring it all together. Guys, there's no acne treatment without tea tree oil tea tree oil is very very good when you want to treat your acne treatment when you want to treat your acne sorry tea tree oil is very very good okay guys if you have a mold a soap mold this is the best time to put your soap inside the mold so because i don't have a soap mold here with me at the moment while making this soap for you guys so that's why i'm using a plastic do not try using a plastic if you know that you don't want stress because once the soap has entered the plastic it's going to be so strong that you might not even be able to remove it like unless you want to be adding water to it then using the the ladder to wash your face so but if you don't want to stress yourself just get a mold then after placing all this inside the mold you wait for about 24 hours then you remove it from the mold then it's going to be strong and it's going to be back to, to a solid form it's going to be back to a solid form you are going to be using it the way you apply the soap you're going to put water on your hand your hand will be damp and your face also will be damp so you don't rub this this soap all over your face directly you are going to rub the soap on your hand then the ladder you're going to put it on your face okay that is the best way to apply a face soap so because i don't have a mold that's why i'm doing all this i'm still going to remove it i'm still going to remove it from this container so it'll be easy for me to use as well so guys i am going to end this video right here if you enjoy this video don't forget to like it and subscribe as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye